this is the first time we've had a cell by cell examination of a crew when they go into space and look at T cells, B cells, all the different components of the immune system. We do this for patients at the hospital and patients in research, but this is the first time we really had a cellular high granularity view of what happens to the body in space. The inspiration for mission and crew was really the core of what we released today for this uh, spaceflight atlas. We found that, for example, telomeres get a little longer in space, which these are the kind of the caps at the end of your chromosomes that keep your DNA intact. And we found that this is very much like what we see for longer missions, but just not as dramatic. So telomeres get longer. We see stress of the body for the immune system being activated. And then we also see just general stress on the body from the you know, from the flight. But that within a few months, 95% of them all go back to their baseline levels. This is very good news for commercial space travelers, people who want to go to space that are looking at these upcoming missions that would go potentially around the moon and farther into space, because it shows that the human body is very adaptive. And even if you're not uh, Olympic athlete level or been training for 10 years to be an astronaut, you can head up into space and actually the body will adapt and you can come back pretty safely.